Okay, folks, Mr. Ballion back here. Uh, we're going to actually get into the meat of it now, meaning the substance, the substance of these lessons. And we where we're going from here to actual 3D form. Okay, we're going to convert these uh, techniques, these skills of communicating shapes into form to actual creating 3D constructs. Okay, we're going to go into Autodesk Maya, and we're going to start there. Okay. A couple things. I'd like you to look on the left side here, make sure you're into modeling. We're all using 2018, so the lighting system is completely different now than the previous tutorials of creating uh, chess pieces. However, it's going to be more theoretical. I mean, I'm just going to review a bunch of things here. Okay, another thing I'd like you to do is to have Maya Classic up here. Okay, Maya Classic, and then modeling over here. Lastly, we want to go to poly modeling. Okay? All right. So a couple things, zoom in and zoom out. So you just middle scroll in, middle scroll out. Next thing is, I'd like everybody to have one hand on the mouse and the other hand on the Alt button, okay? Alt button, and I think on the Mac, that's the Option key, okay? Same thing. If I say Command, it's actually Control and Windows, okay? So here it is, I'm zooming in and out. I'm holding the Alt down and left-clicking on my mouse, and notice that I am spinning around. Why don't I just create a shape first, like a, a cube. Here's my cube. I can press F to frame it in. I can zoom in, zoom out. W is for move, so you can see. I press W, and we have the green arrow, red, and blue. Okay, Y is up and down. That's Y. It's green. X is right to left, and Z is towards you or away from you. Control Z, back to zero. Notice that it says P cube here. I could rename it. Translate X, Y, and Z. Notice these three as I move, as I uh, move the object. I press W for move. Look at this. I'm just moving it somewhere arbitrarily, and it's somewhere in space. It's called the uh, world space, and we have X, Y, and Z here. Okay. So if I see, if I want to bring it back to the neutral, the beginning position, which is right here, the world position. I just zero these out. Bye bye. And back to the middle. W is move. E is rotate. And these are the arcs. That, uh, that you can see blue is Z, red is X, and green is Y. So, what I like to do whenever you're rotating, try to for now rotate only in one axis until you get more comfortable. Notice that this is Y. Hence, over here, minus 103. If I press zero there, sorry, zero, you should go back to normal. Okay, here is the red, so you rotate in the X, okay? So you need to get comfortable with this. Notice there, zero, back to square one. Okay, so the other thing is, I said to you, W is move, which is over here, right here. E is rotate, and there's the icon for it. And R is scale. You normally want to scale, um, the clean, simple scale is uniform scale, which is from the middle, from inside, the yellow. So that means they're all constrained on the X, Y, and Z, it's proportional. Notice that here it's proportional, right? One is not different than the other. The minute that I only press, let's see, R, and I only go in the X, watch this, the X value changes. If I go in the Z, which is the blue, the blue changes, which is Z. Okay, and Y, and it's Y. So I can bring it all to one by pressing one, enter, bingo, back to nothing. Okay, review again. So zoom in, zoom out, middle scroll button. One hand on the keyboard. One hand on Alt or Option, and you left click and drag your mouse. You orbit means you spin around. If you, uh, yeah, let's just keep it like that. Now, if I hold Alt down and my middle scroll button down and drag, that means your middle scroll button, click and press down. This is called panning, just moving right to left, up and down, and all that kind of stuff. It's not orbiting. It's not rotating like we did with the left button. This is the middle scroll. So you repeat this 20 times, 10 times, as long as so that you can actually get comfortable in this. I don't want people to be stuck in a view and trying to do things. So the idea is to press W. And also Q is really fun for later. Q is just select. It doesn't do anything other than select. Oh, back to W for move. So if I press Control D, the keyword is D for duplicate. Look what happens here. Click and drag. I'm going to put my wireframe on. Notice this so I can see my edges. Much easier to view. Okay. So I have these two that I created. I'm going to delete them both. And I'm going to 
do it again. So I'm going to create a cube. Okay. And control D is duplicate. So on any one of these axes, if I click this, my duplicate. So watch this. I can mark the select, left click, make a box. Left click, go from one corner to the other. And then press control D again. And this time I'm going to move on the zip axis, Z axis. So I have duplicated again. So what I'm going to do is zoom out so I can see all four. I'm going to select all four, control D, and then bring them up. Okay, look how nice that is. And then shift D sometimes works, sometimes does not. Repeats the last command there. And sorry, it did repeat the duplication, not the last command. That's G. Okay, so see if you can create all this. Select them all, control D, get comfortable. Pick one axis only, folks, one axis. So you got to spin around. Right now I can only see two axes. I'm looking at three axes. There. Okay, so there, I've done that. A couple things. Accidentally, I want you to hit spacebar. What happened? All of a sudden, you have four views here. Okay, no problem. As you hover over any view and press spacebar, that becomes the view you work in. Spacebar again. There's the, it says here, front view. This is top and this is side view. Okay, the minute I hover and I click spacebar, that becomes the dominant view that I'm in. Okay, so I'm going to click over here or hover. In this view, where it says PRESP, -E perspective, spacebar, boom. Here you are. Okay, lovely. This is a good warm up. All right, I'm going to delete all this. Bye bye. See ya. Okay, some cool things. We're going to get under the hood now. Okay, F for frame. There it is. As you know, in your grade four math class, you learn about polygons, edges, and vertices. So here's a face, which is a polygon, four sided shape. Okay, here's another face, face, face. Spin around, holding Alt and left click, you can spin around. So as you know, a cube is six sides, right? Excellent. So we know that these uh, polygons or faces have edges. So if I right click and hover with my spider web, edge, watch this, edge, down. I can move an edge in, out, making some wild shapes. I have no idea what that is, so I'll just press Control Z to go back to normal. Okay, so that's fun. So we're going to right click again. Instead of edge or face, I want you to go to vertex. And now you're picking the point. This is what you learn in math class, folks. Vertex, vertices. Vertex is singular, vertices is plural, verts. So if I kind of hover around, spin around, and take these two, I'll do the same thing. See that? Isn't that nice? Very cool. Okay, control Z. So you need to play around, get comfortable with this. Now notice, I'm going to do something more fun. Step by step. Face. First few days in this in this software is kind of technical and cumbersome and procedural. It takes time. It's painful. That's all I'm going to say. But after the third day, you're going to be a rock star. So don't you worry about it. Stick with it. Okay, so here's a face. And I'm in W mode, that means I have to move. So watch what I can do and bring that down. Isn't that cool? I can right click and get out of it in object mode. So now um, here's my here's my uh, object that I created. Okay, I'm gonna select this one and move it and create another object. Here's my cube again. Okay, I'm gonna bring a sphere. There's my sphere, I'm gonna bring it on top of there, spin around. That's kind of interesting. You're just learning to bring things up. Look at this. This is a cylinder. So the cylinder, move it down. I can select all three and move up if I wanted to. Okay, so there's something interesting. No idea what, but it is something. Now I'm going to bring a cone in. There's the cone. I can bring that up, pop it on top here. That's nice. And then lastly, I'll bring the donut. And I'm going to make a ring around the collar there, or something like that. Okay. So that's interesting. I'm going to select all of these, and I'm going to move them on the, on the x-axis, which is the red axis, OK? Which is kind of nice. And again, anytime I'm moving, I'm only sticking to one axis. And what I want you to do is get comfortable with this. Look, I'll just move this somewhere. Okay, let's look at the y. The y is 4.495, right? If I change x to 0, it's going to go to the bottom. 0, enter. Well, that didn't work. Oh, X over there, sorry, yeah. If I go to Y0, then I'll go down there. Okay, there it is. Okay, so again, if I want this up here, I'll move it over this way, and so on, and so on. Okay, so we're just moving things. I'm pressing Control Z to go back. 
to normal. Now what I want to do is I want to make these into one shape. So if I select any one of these objects, I want it to be one object. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark these select all of these, okay? Like that. I'm going to go to mesh. I'm going to say combine. Isn't that nice? That's nice. So notice that down here, Maya has remembered all these inputs, and I want to get rid of it. It's not. It's a messy approach. So what I'm going to do over here is this little clock with an X under it. I'm going to delete all the history. Notice all the lines disappear, and I'm going to click on this one, which is is um, center pivot. Okay, so it's clean. This way you center the pivot. It's all at X, Y, Z, zero. So in the future, if I click once, everything is selected as opposed to doing a marquee select and move them all together. Okay, so notice now that I said that, look where the tripod on this little box is. Because it used to be a cube, the center of the cube was here. But you notice that this is way off the box. So if you press on center pivot here, it goes into the shape, which is nice, right? One, two, you can move it around. So I'd like you to spend some time and create some really cool characters like this. And then, you know, whatever you want. You know, in previous classes, we had students create a snowman. We just control D, B, or duplicate, bring it up, press R, make it a touch smaller. Okay. Press W for move and bring it up a bit more. Control D to duplicate. You can do fun things like this R again and resize it. Touch more. W move. You can do stuff like that. Select all three of them, bring them up, and you know you want this to be all the same. One object, just go to Mesh Combine up here. Mesh Combine, there it is. So now I'm going to put a top hat on this, and I'm going to make it like a snowman. Watch this, a cylinder. Here it is. Proportionally, way, way off. So we know our scale. So we'll make that smaller. Okay, I can extend the hat, do whatever I want. I'm going to duplicate this, Control D, W for move, and then bring it here, press R to scale it down, and maybe out from the middle, like that. W for move, bring it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make that a little thinner, okay? And I'm going to hold Shift, which is multi-select like in Adobe apps, W, okay? So that means I've selected more than one object. You hold shift, you can multi-select. Now I'm going to go to Mesh Combine, make this as one piece. Mesh Combine, delete the history, center to pivot. Beautiful. So what I'll do now is I'll just rotate a touch. W, move it over, like that. Make it a little more fun. E for rotate, remember, stick to one axis. Okay, there's that. So what you can do now, you can say, oh yeah, I'd like a nose, Mr. Diamond. So no problem, get a cone. Rotate it, E, on the X or something. And what I do is I rotate a touch, and I pay attention in here. See where it says 39 and change? Change it to 90. Boom. Just like that. And then press W for move again. Bring it over and shoot it up here somewhere. And this is bigger than the entire face, so I would say scale is in order. So press R. Take it from the middle. Extend it from here. Make it smaller. That kind of thing. Okay, and still I'm looking from all views. Get comfortable zooming in and out. I'm going to extend this and I'm going to make it thinner. Press W, spin around, click here, over, that kind of thing. See? Here. It's not bad. So get comfortable moving, okay? Don't be stuck in the view. Do me a favor. Please do that. So I'm going to create a sphere for the eyes and I'll pause the video after this. This is long enough. So you'll see right now, this, this is monster, ginormous. So if I go to polysphere here, radius of 1, I'll try to 0.5 and see what that looks like. Still too big. I'll go to point maybe 1.5. Who knows? I'm making stuff up here. W for move. Not bad, right? So I can come in here. And I'll just spin around. Bring my guy in here. Okay, like that, a little lower. I can bring my nose down a touch. Good enough. You remember to duplicate, control D, and bring it over to the other side, just like that. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to bring a scarf 
and I'll take a donut. I'll bring the donut up. There's a ring like this. Press R for scale. Always spin around, grab the middle, bring it in, squash it down, that kind of thing. Okay, I can also rotate that a touch if I want. Here we are. Okay, R. So those are looking good and not bad. I'm gonna you can do the rest of the buttons here and I'll continue with one more thing. I'm gonna taper the top of the hat, okay? This is new territory now, so pay attention please. Okay, so we know edges, right? Watch this. In a cylinder, I right click and press edge. And I double click, the entire ring is selected. So I'm gonna do is scale it out. So like I'm gonna what I'm doing is like look at that, stylizing this. Isn't that nice? That is nice. Object to get up. Remember, anytime you do anything under the hood, which means if you go under the hood and select these items here, these options, edge, vertex space. You've got to get out of it afterwards. You have to go to object mode and press W to get out, okay? Just like that. And then we're going to move into the chess piece. So I'll leave that and I'll, I'll add an arm for you here. Obviously, this cylinder is way too big. Your first activity is to make a couple things like this, then go into a snowman, make that happen. Watch this here. Uh, poly cylinder a radius is what? One. So let's go to point one, something like that. Okay. And I'm saying I don't need to subdivision, so I'll just make this into maybe 9, so I can see it. I'm going to press R, I can scale it even more. Okay, alright, so let's see, what can I do with this? Press E to rotate, and W, bring it in here, something like that, and I have a piece of the R, okay? And what I'll do is maybe duplicate this, Control D, and then bring a second piece, and I'll make this one, I'll hide it inside here. I'll just go like that, like this, and this one will be bring it up. And sorry, W up, E rotate, pick one axis or whatever, just like that. And I got myself an arm per se. Some of you may want to make a broom. You'll say, how do I do that? So I can hide this like that for you. Okay, so let's pretend I have a broom and I'm holding the broom. So I'll bring the cylinder back. There's my cylinder. Click on poly cylinder here and go to point one again, point one five, and then let's reduce uh, the sides of it to let's say eleven. It doesn't matter the number, guys. Okay, so don't, you don't have to be exact there. So I'm going to just bring this here and watch this. I'm going to press R for scale, make this the bottom part, and then. Watch this, W, Control D, and I'm going to make the long uh, uh, piece here, and I'll press R, oops, press R, always, always scale from the middle, because here's what I'm trying to do, make the two, and then I'll expand it on the Y, something like that, okay, and I'll bring this one in, W, and here it is, something like that, and what I'm going to do now is repeat what I did last time, come down here, Press, uh, look for edge, double click the edge, make sure you have the whole edge, and press R for scale, scale out from the middle. You get where I'm going. Oh, yeah. There it is, something like this. Okay, W on this, and then maybe bring it up. Something like that. And I'll rotate this a touch more on the Z. Z axis. Something like that. Okay, it's holding the broomstick. Watch this. The last thing I'll do, I'll let you guys do the rest, I promise. I'm going to stop. Shift select the two. Mesh. Combine. Always repeating the same things. Get rid of the history. Center the pivot. See that? And I can rotate now. I got myself on the one axis, and I'll just go up oh, something like this. Okay. There you go. That's your first lesson in mind. You break this down slowly. You do your own version, make a snowman, and then we'll work on towards the chess piece, okay? Valiant out, I hope, wow, 20 minutes. Definitely break this down into steps. Bye, everybody. Done now.